Hi guys, it's your Isla Girl and I'm back with another reaction video for you today and today we are reacting to top 10 things you should never do in the UK. So we're going to get right into this one. So if you're new to my channel and it's your first time here, come on in, wrap back, put a smile on your face and enjoy this reaction with your island Girl. To all my regulars, schmegglers, my day one, my sweetie peas, my sweetie pies, Thank you for being here. It's always a pleasure having you guys here with me. Don't forget to do what? Hit that like button. Wrap back. Relax. Let's get into this video. All right? Now I've been reacting to Britain, a lot of Britain videos. So let's see. What does this have to say? All right, here we go, guys. It's not playing. I just press play. All right, here we go. All right. Let's start by saying that in no way are we trying to scare you away from visiting the UK. But if you are a tourist or an international student in the UK, okay. then wouldn't it be better to know a few things that could offend people there? Yep. We mean, you don't want to hurt anyone with your actions or words, <laughs> let alone get into trouble in a foreign <laughs> land. People would understand that you may take a while to adjust to the new surroundings and customs. But if you want to save yourself from embarrassing situations as a newcomer in the UK, we have compiled a list of things that you should avoid doing there. Number one, calling the United Kingdom England. Ouch. Before you take the flight to anywhere in the UK, know its full form. UK stands for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Do you realize what this means? The UK consists of four countries, Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. Moreover, each country has its own distinctive culture, national identity, and government. So, before you begin your sentence with, England's landscapes are, <laughs> confirm that you really are in England, and not Scotland, which is a separate country. I knew about Wales. I know about Scotland. Hey! I know UK mean United Kingdom. What was I missing all along? But, that's a valid point. <laughs> I wouldn't like somebody come in my yard and say, oh, um, are we in in Idaho when we're, we're actually in Alaska? So that that right there. I get it. That makes sense number two ask if they know the Queen How would you feel if some tourist in the US asked if you knew Donald Trump? <laughs> You'd call that person plain stupid for assuming that everyone breathing the US air knows the president Exactly. So how do you expect people in the UK to personally know the royal family? More than 60 million people live in the UK, oh, wow. and over 8 million of those live in Greater London alone. There is no way that these people know their monarch more than the internet knows. You won't offend people with this question, but we'll definitely make them laugh in your face. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> in your face, of course. Why would you ask somebody? <laughs> To me, why would you ask somebody? Exactly. It's like me asking if you know Barack Obama. Exactly. Come on. But I didn't even know there were so many people living in 60 million people. That's a lot. And it's only eight live. That's still a lot. Golly. Number three, oh. block the escalator. Escalators escalator. are common in most countries, and we don't give much thought about the do's and don'ts while we are standing on it. Well, you'd be surprised to know that there is indeed a wrong way to stand on an escalator, at least in the UK. What? It is an unspoken rule in this part of the world that if you want to stand still, you should stay on the right-hand side. Why? Well, the left-hand side of the escalator is reserved for those people who are in a hurry. You know, the lot who believe that by running through the escalator and saving about 30 seconds, they would get to their destination on time. Just remember, if you don't want to be pushed past, then stay on the right. Are you serious? <laughs> you're telling me that people get mad if you're on the escalator and you're blocking the way. They get upset about that? Now I just learned something. Isn't the escalator... <laughs> an extra, you're right, an extra 30 seconds going to make you reach early. Wow. Cheesy wheezy. I'm glad I'm learning this stuff. <laughs> Number four, jump a, queue. jump a queue. Many of us don't give much importance to a queue. You know, the ones we see outside a dessert kiosk because, well, an ice cream craving can't wait. But don't do that while you're in the UK, simply because that is bad manners. 
Even if you think it is a petty thing and shouldn't annoy anyone, you aren't doing it here. <laughs> Before you attempt any such adventure, know that those people ahead in the queue came here first and deserve to be served first. Plus, why do you want any inconvenience in the form of a fight? Stay in the queue, wait for your turn, and all will go swiftly. I'm all for that. When you say queue, I had no clue. <laughs> When he said stay in the queue, <laughs> if I didn't see a line, I wouldn't. <laughs> if I didn't see a line, I wouldn't have realized that a queue means a line in the line. <laughs> oh, wow. But yeah, I'm all for that. You have to have respect. If you come and see me here, you wait your turn. Learn to wait your turn. In America here, they do not risk a lot of people here are they're they're not respectful of others within the line or with, within the queue. And I hate it. It's it's a pet peeve of mine. Know your place. If you're waiting, you're waiting. If you're behind me, you're behind me. Wait your turn. Everybody is waiting. Yeah. I'll, I'll go on and on with that because people here are annoying when it comes on to that. Let's continue. <laughs> Number five, pick up a rented car. We don't mean to say that driving in this country is illegal, but you can get yourself and others in trouble by driving. Oh. Ah, we have created a nice bit of suspense here. We deserve a pat on the back. Jokes aside, the thing is that you will have to drive on the left side of the road here. And if you come from a nation where the opposite is the norm, you might have a tough time learning this. When you are new to a place, such experiments are the last thing you should be doing, exactly. right? Plus, right. remember you don't know your way around, so you'd be consulting maps on a busy road while getting used to driving on the wrong side. Number six. I'm in agreement with that. I just, I just did a video about why you guys drive on the left-hand side, and I'm all for that. If I'm going somewhere, I don't want to be driving if I, if one if we drive on the other side of the road two if i don't know where i'm going i have to be using gps i have to be using maps it is just too much so i can understand that i am all for that rent get a taxi or something number six right tree. talk about money you don't ask someone how much they earn or how much money they have in their pocket unless you are family or very close friends right come on that's basic decency yes. People in the UK might feel offended if you ask too many questions about money. In fact, boasting about your wealth is also not going to be appreciated. So keep the big bucks in your pocket. All for that as well. It is rude. Why you want to know how much somebody worth? Come on, people. Come on. Get over yourself. Not everybody want to know how much you're making if you're a millionaire. I'm, uh, I'm liking these. I'm liking these. Number seven, greet inappropriately. Meeting someone for the first time and experiencing that awkward situation where you go for a hug while the other stops you with a handshake. <laughs> Ever been there? If you don't want to find yourself in that situation in the UK, just go for a handshake okay. because they aren't too comfortable making physical contact with strangers. Hugging and kissing on the cheek is reserved for people they know well and are comfortable with. Oh, and what do you say when someone asks you, how are you? By no means is this a cue that you can start off your saga of nasal allergies if you don't want the person to never see your face again. Every how are you is followed by fine, thank you, and nothing else. Love it. It's the same thing like in the Caribbean, same thing in Jamaica. How are you? I'm fine. Everything is okay. That is how you greet somebody. It's not telling them your whole life history and everything that is going on. Uh, listen, I'm loving this. <laughs> Listen, they need this personal space, not too close, not in my bubble. Say hello if I don't know you like that, a handshake is fine. We don't need not to shake hand. Hello, hi, and that's enough. Number eight, fake their accent. No matter how many times you have practiced the British or Scottish accent, don't use it because it probably isn't that good. <laughs> People aren't going to like it if you force their accent, and especially when you are doing it all wrong. <laughs> you will make it look like you aren't a part of them and are desperate to lose your identity and mix with them. Wouldn't it be better if you first make friends with natives of Wales and then try a Welsh accent? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I can't stand when people don't know the accent and pretend and try to say, listen, I'll be rolling. <laughs> it sounds so weird. 
And I really think it is disrespectful, in a sense. If you don't know the person like that, don't do it. It's not funny. It's <laughs> for me, it is for, but a lot of people don't find it funny. But I get what they're saying, and that makes sense. I love it. Number nine, voice opinions about Brexit. We know that Brexit is the topic of discussion in pretty much the entire world. What's that? But you can't be walking around spitting your views about it when you are in the UK. People there are directly related to it, and your views can be taken personally. And what happens when someone takes your casual opinion personally and in a negative light? Yes, they get offended and might beat you up. Okay, maybe we went too far with the beating up part, <laughs> but you still don't want to risk it. Okay. I have no clue what what that means. Bre Brexit? Can somebody explain to me in the comment section what does that mean? Please. Number 10. Mess with the Queen's Guard. Did that bushy hat fool you? Oh, people, the Queen's Guard isn't your friend, and you aren't forgetting that. You may fool around with him a bit, and he won't pay much attention, let alone punish you. But there is a line drawn, and you must never cross it, because the consequences won't be pretty. Never, we repeat, never touch the guard. Because once you do that, prepare yourself for a world of hurt. Do you want that gun, the one that was fascinating you, to be pointed at you? If not, maintain a respectable distance from the guard. He deserves it. How was your experience in the UK? Why would you mess with the Queen Guards? That's not right. That is so wrong on every level. Space. Personal space. 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 Personal space. Give people personal space. That is more than enough. Why would you do that? Have respect. Man, I'm telling you, crazy. But these are good things to know. I'd love to visit just, just to say. Because this is pretty interesting. But like I say, it's your island girl and I'm running out of here. So guess what guys? I will definitely catch you guys in another video. Don't forget to go into the comment section. Tell me what you think. Don't forget to put your request in the comment section because it will be done. Bye!